to his intelligence agencies in between watching internet porn. He tells them, look, put out a report that you think ISIS planted the bomb on the plane. Yes, boss. And what he thinks, what Nero thinks by doing that is that his competitor, Putin, in his mind, his competitor, instead of his ally, will look bad in the world. That's all. That's a theory now. It has as much validity as saying uh, they think that ISIS planted the bomb on the plane. That's all. So what do you think about this? I will ask you. Who do you think, well, not who do you think, what do you think brought that plane down, the Russian plane down over the Sinai? Do you think that ISIS planted a bomb on the plane? Do you think it was, uh, well, I don't know, how can we know what it is? See, this is how stupid this is. The government itself says they think, they feel. Read the story, Barbara Starr. It's on CNN, for God's sakes, the most unreliable news source in the entire world. Read the story. Here, look, look how she couches it. The latest U.S. intelligence suggests... Oh, here we go. You, the professors are ready. That's a word we used to use in college. Suggests. That's just, it's an Obama word. I suggest that the crash of a Russian jet in the sun was most likely caused by a bomb. According to a U.S. official unnamed. Who's the official? But the official stress the formal conclusion has not been reached by the U.S. intelligence community. Uh, some intelligence community is brilliant. There is a definite feeling it was an explosive device planted in luggage. The official, who is familiar with the latest U.S. intelligence, told CNN, Have you ever heard anything as silly as this? <clears throat> there is a definite feeling it was an explosive device. Look, folks, at the risk of your displeasure, and I'm not going to read a chapter to you, if I tell you there's a chapter entitled Zero Military and Zero Intelligence in Government Zero, I wouldn't be lying to you. Zero leadership, zero strategy against ISIS. Zero military. Let's see what else applies to this one. Well, zero science would apply. Where's the science in this statement? Zero liberty, zero police. Yeah, you get the picture. When you have a rogue government like this run by a rogue president, and you have yes men and yes women doing anything he wants. Why should I eat this, this, this story lock, stock, and barrel? Now, it could be that ISIS did it. But how long would it take? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'm going to make a, uh, a suggestion. I'm going to suggest something to my audience. Is there an air crash expert listening to this show from the NT, NTSB, a former or retired NTSB employee listening to this program, who can call the Savage Nation, we'll, put you, we'll get your priority listing, you come right on and can wear your shoes and go right through the security line, wearing your shoes, come right up to the desk. You get the microphone, come right up to the desk. Former or current NTSB official or someone familiar with airplane accidents, how long does it normally take to reconstruct an accident or an incident, in this case, and, and come to some conclusion that has some validity? Now, what would they be looking for? If there was a bomb on the plane, wouldn't they find residue from the bomb? I mean, I would think just from watching movies, I'm no expert. Wouldn't it leave some uh, trace on something, a seat, on some luggage? Right? So where, where's the evidence of that? The official said there was a feeling it was an explosive device. What do you mean a feeling? Based on what? What, a Ouija board? Okay, Randall on WBAP. Who do you think brought the plane down, the Russian plane? Yes, uh, I have I've too many. it. I don't take plug calls. That's all. Then, then don't come on my show and talk about someone else's show just to get his name up in the air. If you work for the guy, good for, good for you, but don't do not do it on my dollar. KSFO, Jeremy, go ahead, please. You're on the Savage Nation. Line seven, is it done? Okay. Uh, we're going to take one more shot at it then because we're going to go for one more. Judy? No, Mike on W uh, VNN line two. Go ahead. Who do you think brought the plane down? Hey, Michael. It was uh, what it was. Is the um, it was a starburst missile that traveled at Mark IV, and we were in a briefing last night. And the Russian. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold, hold it on. Uh, wait, wait you, you back up a bit. Who was in a briefing last night? I can't get into all that, but I can tell you. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. So you work in a, in a government agency, and you believe it was a, what kind of missile brought it down? British Starburst. We came through the Saudi when they were supplying um, the uh, ISIS. And it actually was launched, and the Russians have got the satellite feed. And they, they actually know pretty much and have tracked it down what it is. They just aren't sure whether or not it was fired by the Saudis or ISIS. 
It's a Starburst missile, traveled at Mark IV. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Now, this, I can't confirm this because I don't know who you are, sir, but you're claiming that you have evidence that this is proven by whom? It is, they, the Russians already know this, and and Obama knows it too. And the defense... So, but, so why is CNN putting out the false story that it, that it was a bomb and luggage on the plane? You nailed it because, well, uh, first of all, they're going to try to beef up TSA, which is one of the things you can do. Say, oh my God, this could have gotten through TSA. And oh God, no, <laughs> not again! I got to put my shoes back off again. I take them off again. You have no idea. I, no, I'm saying, but you, you, okay, without giving away who you work for, you're saying it was a British Starburst missile shot by whom? There, it was. The Egyptians have two people in custody right now that they think were operators, and we can't get any more than that. Bye -bye. Okay, so uh, uh, you got to hang up. Okay, I get it. Is he? Did he hang up already? That makes it very official when a guy calls with that and then hangs up. That really sounds official. That's like freakazoid, freakazoid real. It's like a leak job on the on the show. Gave me a leaker. All right, so now let's put this together, folks. Um, let's think amongst ourselves. If, as the anonymous caller just suggested, the Russian jetliner was shot down by a uh, British starburst missile fired by some someone in the desert, why would the British have wanted to shoot down a Russian jetliner with people on it? Why? Well, what's in it for them? No, I don't think the British wanted to shoot the plane down to you. So, how did ISIS members get the missile? And why did they get the missile? And what would it, why would Saudi Arabia want to shoot down a Russian jetliner? What's in it for them? That doesn't make sense to me. I can't follow the dots on that one, right? Thomas WJR in, uh, you're in, you're in, uh, Detroit, where are you? In, in Detroit? Yeah, uh, JR? Uh, my, yeah, my point was, I was making, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my point is that, you can shoot a, a um, slow, fat civilian airliner down with a shoulder, a shoulder-mounted uh, missile, it's like a Stinger. Um, the, uh, everybody's talking about, you know, the twenty-six thousand feet. That's the maximum. That's the that's the minimum. Yeah, wait, wait. The shoulder-fired missiles have a, a, a an altitude uh, max of what six thousand feet? No, no, no. They that like if you go to Wikipedia, it'll say twenty-six thousand, but that's. That's a, uh, in the combat conditions. The, for example, if you do the math, I know you're good at math. You know, it's got a 17 second burn and it goes at Mach 2. That's like 1800 miles an hour. So you got that fat jetliner coming in there. You know when it's going to come by. You sit under it and you can plug it with a, with a, a man, a man held, uh, uh, Sam. So, you know. Wait, wait, hold, hold. You can, you can, you can fire a missile from your shoulder. That'll go up to thirty thousand feet. Oh yeah, it's a uh, just you know you got you got people on your staff on just have them do the math. You know a seventeen second burn. All right, all right, hold on. I'm taking your theory now, and I'm saying why is now the government reporting our government ISIS planted a bomb on the plane? Why are they saying that? Well, I mean they they don't want people to know <laughs> the range of uh, these missiles. Uh, that could be one reason. In, in my opinion. Uh, Saudi Arabia is funding ISIS. I mean, it's it's Saudi Arabia against the world now because the Iranians are knocking on the door. The only thing, if you look at geography, I know you're good at geography. If you look at, at the geography, Iran is the only thing between Iran and and Saudi Arabia is a little bit of sand there. You know, you have Basra, you have southern Iraq, but wait, all wait, so Western you're saying it's wait, you're saying it is Shia Iran versus Sunni Saudi Arabia, correct? Right. And now you're saying because Russia is backing the Shia in Iran, Saudi Arabia wanted to damage Russia? Well, I mean, ISIS is the only thing that's keeping Saudi Arabia alive right now. <laughs> you get rid of ISIS and Iran is going to march right into Rajad and, and, and you know, just take it over. It's just, you know, those stars, the, the real family is going to be on a plane so quick. <laughs> Well, you know, it's interesting what you say. It's an interesting uh, analysis here. But, I mean, the, the the cover story, ISIS planted bomb on plane, I didn't accept it 
uh, immediately. I mean, why should I accept that? They say they suspect, they think. But now you're saying something different. You're the second caller who says it could have been a shoulder-fired missile, correct? Right. And you know, uh, when uh, Libya went down, it was like, a, you know, um, a shopping spree for anybody. You know, I mean, we got some stuff. Uh, the Islamists went in there and got some stuff. Everybody got stuff. And, uh, you know, Stinger's a very fine missile. Um, but, uh, you know, the Saudi Arabians, they can, they can order missiles from uh, other places, too. And, uh, you know, it's, it's Sunni against Shia. Shia have no, no money, <laughs> except now that since they control most of Iraq, you know, they're getting a lot of that oil. And uh, in Saudi Arabia, once, uh, you know, Obama did that red line retreat, you know, Saudi Arabia saw that they could not uh, rely on Uncle Sam anymore. And so, uh, you know, how, how else does... Oh, so, so hold it, my friend. What do you suspect? And I don't buy the cover story that I'm reading on CNN and everywhere else. ISIS planted a bomb on the plane. I would say that's pure propaganda. So why would our government put out that lie that ISIS put a bomb in luggage rather than say it was shot down by a missile. What do you re really think is going on here? I don't uh, think that they want... All right, you see what uh, I'm doing here? Look look what we're doing here. We're all guessing. We don't know. An investigation like this has to take months. And yet our government puts out a lie that it was a bomb in luggage. Why would Barry have instructed his minions to put this lie out? There's only one reason in my opinion. And that's to embarrass Putin, his arch enemy in his mind, because he's a very insecure man. He was just downgraded from the most powerful man on earth to number three, number one, Putin, number two, Merkel, and number three, Obama. They said it's the first time in many, many decades that an American president is not in the top two. The man is in free fall in terms of his own self ego. And I think he hates Putin so much that he's putting out the, this this story in order to embarrass Putin. That's what I think is a theory here. Meaning, I didn't say that he had anything to do with the, the, the bombing. Don't get me wrong. He is putting out the lie that ISIS got to, got to the Russian plane in order to weaken Putin amongst his own people, to be more specific. He wants him to be less popular amongst the Russian people and the world, to not be seen as a strong man who's in charge of everything. I'm sending you a copy of Government Zero. No, this is not in the book. It's a horrible story, by the way. You know, we shouldn't be so clinical about it. If you saw the pictures of the young families on vacation, the children that whoever killed these people, they should be drawn and quartered in public on a pay-per-view channel. Whoever did this to that airliner should be should be dr drawn and quartered on pay-per-view. Okay? At $100 a pop, I would sign up. Anyone out there who really knows the dynamics of such a situation? We had a bomber pilot just call. Is he gone? Yeah. We're all guessing. I know it'll take. Is there an NTSB guy out there who's called a savage nation who could give us some analysis? I had a bomber pilot who just called, and he said a shoulder-fired missile could not reach that plane. And that was my understanding last week. It could not reach that altitude. Right? I mean, and that's what I read last week. It could not reach that altitude. You know? So what is this going to do to commercial aviation now, knowing that these Islamo-fascists are running around with some kind of missiles all over the world now, uh, liable to shoot a plane down? I mean, what, what's this going to do now? Well, I guess they'll start profiling Irish grandmothers in wheelchairs in America. That's one way to stop it. Oh, yeah. You see an old woman, let's say, in a wheelchair with blonde hair and blue eyes who speaks English and she has a cane. That could be a shoulder-fired cane. And you may as well sort of take her into the back and do a strip search on her. But if someone uh, comes in in a robe speaking in Arabic, screaming death to America, put him right on with, with his shoes on. Because you don't want to be sued by the uh, Council on American-Islamic uh, Race Relations. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. From coast to coast, conservative won one election after another. And we're going to talk about that because the criminal government that we have the government that Obama runs, and he says anyone who disagrees with him is a part of the small disgruntled group. Well, the small disgruntled groups voted across the country yesterday, and every conservative measure won, and every wackadoodle left-wing issue lost. Whether it was putting men in women's restrooms, as the crazy mayor of Houston wanted to do, or medical marijuana, people shot it down because they know it's destroying the children. People are not stupid. Huge election wins across the country uh, amid voter sentiment fueled 
by Barack Obama's radical, insane left-wing weakling politics 